All right, witches, wizards, and goblins, thank you so much for joining me for another gameplay episode of Hogwarts Legacy here. In our last session, we saved uh, the town from a goblin attack, uh, only to find Sebastian's uncle and sister both under siege. Uh, we saved them, however, Sebastian used an unforgivable curse, Imperio, to cause a goblin to kill himself before killing his sister, at which point she looked horrified, and uh, his uncle basically told him to leave and never come back. So we Revelio. are going to try talking to his uncle for him. It was pretty intense. More. The last couple of gameplay sessions have been very heavy and very combat based. So, um... Oh, this looks different now. The unlock is green and, and red Revelio. now. Like the lights always were, but the metal pieces are now. Uh, I, did, I did update about uh, just under a gig's worth of an update. Um, before getting into the game today, so I wasn't sure what things they changed. Obviously, that's one of them. Um, oh yeah, I want to see if my outfit's back. Since they did an update, it's very possible that it's here. There we go. There we go, guys. My outfit's back. Thankfully, whatever update they just did fixed that glitch. I'm sure it fixed some other glitches that are possibly going on. Who knows, right? Um, did we... Ha I forget. Did we have a actual shopkeeper's, like, shirt and outfit? Or, or did we just have to pick one of the random ones that we had? I don't remember now. I think that's the one I was wearing, but I don't think there was an official shopkeeper's shirt. Yeah, I don't think so. So what we're going to do, put it back on that one because I believe that's what it was. Um, we should have the hat because there was a shopkeeper's hat, which we couldn't find last time. That's not it. But it is a top hat looking hat. There we go. Shopkeeper's hat. Alright, we got our uniform back. Woohoo! That was, that was kind of sad in the last session, or last couple sessions, when they took it away from us for some reason. But I am happy to have it back. To have it back. Alright, well. We got some goodies. I think there's a lot of uh, a lot of buildings we can loot right here, but uh, let's just talk to uh, Sebastian's uncle, kind of get that sorted. Uh, but yeah, the one other thing they updated, which we saw, was that on the when you're unlocking the door, instead of just two plain colored metal spinning gears, uh, one entire gear is green and the other one's red. So that's one small update that they made. Obviously, people's cloaks are still getting pushed through their butts, through their body, as we see here, and as we've seen with NPCs before in conversation, so that hasn't been fixed yet. <laughs> what That's was he right. thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian acted rashly, but he acted out of instinct to save Anne. Out of instinct? With an unforgivable curse, this family does not resort to using dark magic, even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, 
I will notify the headmaster immediately. Why, Sebastian? I mean, maybe it's because you pushed him and pushed him away. <clears throat> Never supported him. Always called him names and shouted at him or aggressive towards him. And now you're trying to act like, oh, the poor kid. I'm so angry at him. Why did he do this? Well, what do you think, you dumb dumb? All right. Well, looks like uh, we have a, a mission to speak with Sebastian and the Undercroft. But you know what? Like I said. I think we need a slightly lighter episode here, so rather than continuing on with these dark materials, <laughs> get it? We're going to. Uh, I think what we're going to do first is we're going to talk to Natty, um, and then after that, then we're going to go to the uh, the map room to do our third trial. Where can I go? I need to make sure I'm not going the wrong way. I guess theoretically I could go lower Hogsfield. I could go either way, but I should turn around and go the other way. I see balloons out yonder. I should go do that. Also, I don't think I've, um... What kind of animals are there? Oh, hippogriffs. Alright, we're not missing much. Uh, I don't think I've actually, like, explored near the coast before. Like, I've seen that there is, a, in fact, a coast. Um, but I don't think we've actually, like, gone out this way. So it's probably a fair bit of undiscovered areas. Oh, a little goblin camp there. I just assume naturally the further you get away from Hogwarts, the more enemies there are, the more danger there is. Um, Alright, don't do this to me. Don't embarrass me, Broom. It's really hard to maneuver it if it's, uh... If you're not moving quickly, turning can be really difficult. Unless you just do a real slow speed like this. Could it be a Merlin trial? I'll do the moon table after right now. I want to find out where the other stones are. Sometimes Revelio helps to locate them. Ooh. Just took a bunch of falling damage. Why did I die? Oh. Oh, well, silly. I didn't think I was going to take... It seemed like I survived the fall. And I tried to take a potion and then it killed me. Anyway, alright, whatever. Um, oh, we have to restart it? Well, let's just for a second try to find more of these stones here before we begin it again. Like, is that one? 
Revelio. Nope. So I see. Oh. One, two, three, four. Now I see more of them. Alright, alright, we're good, we're good, we got this. Oh, don't have to say that. Sorry if I sound a little bit nasally today. I uh, have a bit of a runny nose, which happens this time of year. It's funny because in uh, in Southwest uh, Ontario and Canada, where I live, um, we get <laughs> we get kind of weird weather at the end of the winter, where it kind of stops and starts and stops and starts and keeps going back and forth. And so I saw this really funny uh, image once that said uh, that there were like 11 seasons in Canada, not four. And the way the winter ends is it goes winter, uh, full spring, second winter, mud season, third winter, and then real spring. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, we were like... Uh, nice and sunny and warm. I was wearing a sweater and no coat recently, and then, yeah, and then we're co everything's covered in ice again the last couple days, so the back and forth constantly gives me the sniffles. I wish I would just pick one and stick to it, you know? If you're gonna freeze us, then just keep freezing us forever until it's time to be warm. Make up your mind. All right, now I feel like there's probably something there. Revelio. Revelio. Come on, there's got to be something out here. Why have this rock if there's no? Really? Well, oh, that's disappointing. I guess the benefit of going that far out, though, is that uh. When you do Rebellio, you can see everything on the land. My father always told me to keep my What are you up to rent. now? <sighs> it was never the same after he was a <laughs> Oh, Rebellio. So you can see quite a fair bit when you're on top of Broom. Should investigate. Hello, truly, truly. Bombarda. Good for you. Oh, 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 o
I just wish there was. Revelio. Wait, there usually is loot, right? It's just like hidden somewhere. Last time it was like hidden in some bushes. There you go. I was gonna say every troll, every like troll hut or whatever has to have some kind of treasure. Oh, but it's a crappy green shirt. Boo! Look, if I go through the trouble of killing a troll, you better give me some better crap for it. That prize was, how should I say, poopy. It was a poopy prize. Such arrogance. This murder Charles won't get the best of me. We're getting there. Gotta do a bunch more before we get another four gear slots. That's uh, that's, that's gotta be my most consistent gripe about the game is the Rebellion. lack of gear slots and how hard it is to get more. Uh, but even when you do get more, you really don't get enough more for it to make much of a difference. So that part of the game is a little frustrating. Overall, it's an uh, incredible game, and I love most of it. But that's uh, one of the few things that I have issues with. That is scary. Enjoy suffering, do you? Oh, little moon calf. Far from home. We're a bit of dying, are we? I don't know why I could have been calling it here, but I'll do it. Oh, right on the moon. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Rock. Have I been here before? Rebellion. Sure I have. At least I think I've been above here. Maybe I haven't been. I think I have though. I think this is part of the mission we played here. But... Merlin 
trial here, so I have a reason to go to this camp. It's exhausting. Standing here all day waiting to do Rockwood's work for him, he can fight his own battles. Come to think of it, months ago. <laughs> What's that? Oh, show yourself. Oh. Don't bother. Ah. Uh. of loot here. Spell I got rid of out of these. Where did I put that to? I need to spin it now. How do I spin it? I need to, uh... This is challenging. I need to... I need to spin it. I don't know how to spin it. Um... You see, like, I need to spin it, like, flip it. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, there we go. That is not as easy as it seems, or maybe it is, and I'm just not playing. Look at 
Alrighty, well that worked. And there's an ancient power source here too. I am getting very distracted. Bombardo. Incendio. Alright, no more distractions. We gotta go see Natty. I don't care what else I find on the way. We're not stopping for nothing. Unless we see a phoenix, that's the only way, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think that's going to be a very specific mission later on. It's like a place right out of a storybook. You are here. Good. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Harlow. We need to speak with him. You can't imagine how he... Where are you, Archie? Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband... is dead. He killed him! Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow! I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? He must be around here somewhere. When did you last see him? Archie was home with his father while I was out. His satchel's missing. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... when my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, I, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. We'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> I want to kill this Harlow guy now. Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> My husband. When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Rebellion. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Harlow that we need. We will need something more. Yeah, this must be little D &D. Archie's hideout. Speak with the animals, speak with mentioned. beasts. Archie? Archie Bickel! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. I tried, yo. There! Archie's footprints. Oh, he went yeah. this way. I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. 
Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Rebellion. out. Rebellion. Wolves! Prepare for the fight. Pass with that wolf pack. We should look around. Revelio. Archie's satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Hollow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Archie went this way. I have a bad feeling about this. Hollow must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio. Hey, what? <laughs> Revelio. Multiple sets uh... of footprints. Oh. Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. <sighs> You're speaking with that African accent and you say a fuck in the road. It doesn't sound like you're saying a fuck in the road. That's what I said, a fuck. A spoon and a fuck in the they road. They are beautiful, are they not? You must eat with your knife you and You can see Vestrals too. And your spoon. I witnessed death when I was nine. For my first I found comfort in it. I still do. I Rebellion. think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away, and I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways. But in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... Mm. Let us keep moving. We must find Archie. Jesus, let's go. Holy cow. I understand you want to tell some backstory, but like... There's a kid missing and you want to stop and talk about someone who's already gone? Come on. This as I feared. They have Archie. Be on your guard. Revelio. There can be no mistakes. Ashfinder. I did not expect this tent to be so large on the inside. That complicates things a little. You don't think he saw it happen, do you? Of course he did. Why else would he have run? He's just a child. Oh, once he gets back. Like when we when we do these missions with other students, I know Sebastian is gonna like mess people up. I have no worries about that. But he uses dark magic to do it. When we do stuff with Natty, I know we're probably also gonna get in a lot of trouble with bad guys. But she's kind of more moral. Like she's more the way I try to. Be. So 
Like as much as uh, Sebastian's supposed to be like this this good caster in a fight, I prefer to have Natty with me. Cause I know she's thinking along the same lines that I am. She doesn't really want to kill, but. Yeah, we're gonna help you, kid. But your new favorite uncle, Arius Fenn, needs to do some some looting first. All right, so he's underneath. Help! Can someone help me? Is anybody there? Please, I need your help. Archie. Wow, they really didn't give him a lot of dialogue options. How would you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Not too loud, Achi. We need to get this open. We will. Hello, Hamora. Yeah, see, the ears are color coordinated now, which is kind of cool. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now, let's get you home. We know a safe way back. Darling. Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. Mr. Filbert. And I think they also said Otto's name. Oh. I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, Mother. You can't husband's stay here. You gotta go danger. somewhere. Just as he was. How can they we know where help? you live. They're You've gonna come enough. back for the kid. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. It may be too late for that. 
I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Okay, but again, Bickle. like... My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickle's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. Thank you for your help today. Okay, but here's the problem with that. They know where you live. They came here to kill your husband. If they if the child's gone and Harlow sees that the kid's gone, all his wizards are dead, first place he's gonna come is right here. Like, why would you not leave? Uh, video game. <laughs> It's How just nice a video game. You, it's not real. Don't freak <laughs> out. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, well, that was fun, guys. We got some stuff done. Got some Merlin trials done. We got a fun side quest done with Ned. So, um, next session, we're going to do the map room. And we're going to do the third Keeper trial. So, can't wait to see you guys in the next gameplay session. Thanks for following along. And we'll see you then.